Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL Live Evolution. We're playing as the Brisbane Lions in our Coach Career Series. This is episode four. In today's episode, we have two matches, the first of which is against Sydney. We're going to be playing down in Sydney, matter of fact. We're currently leading the Premier League, sorry, not Premier League, Premiership ladder. I've been playing too much FIFA once again. Carlton, Crows, Hawthorne, West Coast, uh, GWS, and Sydney making up the the top eight as well. What are we, round seven in today's video as well? We also face Hawthorne down in Tasmania in Launceston at the Utah Stadium, which is hilarious in my opinion. So Hipwood is our top goal scorer at the moment with 12 goals. We're currently still undefeated, but we're facing the Swans here today. It's going to be a challenge. They're one of the best teams in the competition. So guys, thank you for all the comments in the last episode. I did ask you what players you would like me to sign. I also put in the comments... Uh, players you would like me to sign. So I'm going to quickly go through that shortlist once more if you agree or disagree. So I want to bring in maybe two forwards next season, either uh, Buddy Franklin, Ben Brown, Tex Walker, Jack Gunson, or Jack Revolt. One midfielder, bon bon I, can't, I always say, fuck up his name, Bontepelli, Dangerfield, Nat Five, Adam Trior, uh, maybe Zacharakis, Dustin Martin, Isaac Henney, and Luke Dallahouse. We've got in the defense, we could get Aaliyah, we've got Tom McDonald, Jeremy Howe, uh, we've obviously got Alex Rance, Grant Birchall, and maybe bringing in a new Ruckman because Stefan Martin is 28 years of age. He's been pretty he's been pretty decent for us. He did lose the Ruck just then, of course. Rich trying to... Oh, no. The Swans are trying to get back on here. We're trying to soccer it forward for us. Tom Bell gets tackled, and it looks like... Sydney are going to try and consolidate the attack, but we do manage to intercept. Also, yeah, I want to bring in some Ruckman. Maybe Nick knew he'd be really cool at the Lions. Maybe Max Gowan, maybe Matthew Lewenberger, trying to bring him back. And youth-wise, I really want to focus on Tasmanian talent. Brady Gray, uh, Mitchell Hibbard, Kieran Lau, Zach Webster, Cade Kolochesny, um, Ryan... Gardner, maybe Jake Kolochesny, and maybe Lockie Weller and Alex Pierce. There's a fair few other Tasmanians, but they're a little bit sort of old. I want to try and get some real youngsters in. So we managed to start the scoring here today against Sydney, which is great stuff. We're going to be playing a very direct style of play, like I mentioned in the last episode. Let me know if you agree or disagree, or should we try and play a little bit something else? Looks like Sydney are really trying to push the rings. We like to play a direct style of play, very straight down the middle. Using the channels, try and get it straight to Hipwood, who is six foot eight. He's so broken in this game, and then try and get to Richard half forward. We've got a pretty decent midfield. Our midfield's probably better than our attack, but Hipwood up front and Richard are so so good. Our midfield's great with Beams, Rockcliffe, and Zorko, but our defence is where it's lacking. We just need to try and put as many goals past the opposition, hold possession as best we can. I, I don't really like using the um, the wings too much, trying to stretch the play. We're better off going straight down the middle, trying to find Hipwood and Rich, and using minimum. Handballs, but Beams manages to whip it into the box to find Hipwood to make it what second goal of the match. We're about to go it again. Hipwood at the top of the square, cool, calm, and collected out marks his man. And Alier, who was on my shortlist, I can't wait. He's actually been playing really well in this match. The Kenyan born refugee will be a very welcome member at the Brisbane Lions next season if we can sort of pick him up. But it's going to be interesting to see how. We go this season because, obviously, the better we do in the league, the better we do in the finals. We'll sort of make our players a little bit more <laughs> highly rated depending on where we finish up. From the ball up. Pretty scrappy at the start. Brisbane trying to get away. Ali, yeah, oh my God. Fires it up top, but Nick Robertson manages to collect. Oh, Sydney managed to intercept with Jeremy here. A short little pass to Luke Parker. Luke Parker finds... Oh, he's trying to find Buddy there, but Tom Cutler's done well. Buddy manages to tackle him to the ground. There's no way of uh, holding the ball. No, throwing the ball. Oh, piss off. Buddy Franklin steps up, and what a clinical finish there from big Buddy Franklin, the former Hawthorne man, now Sydney Swans. He'd be awesome to get at the club, but he's, what, 30, 32 years of age now? He's getting a little bit past it, but that just shows you on the very hard difficulty how clinical these top sides are. And when we actually face one of the best teams in the comp, that's outside 50. He did that without a sweat, Buddy Franklin. Holy crap. Sw oh, the Swans trying to break. Mitch. Oh, come on, Brisbane. Get to it. Leicester. Oh, what? It's a push in the back. For oh, piss off. 
We managed to intercept here with Tom Rockcliffe, though. We're ahead quite convincingly in the first half against the Swans here today. Leicester fires it, trying to get to Hipwood, but it wasn't to be. So we're currently leading the Swans here today, 18-6. to We're now in the second quarter. Stefan Martin mistimes the jump, but we're s he's still going, Stefan Martin. Come on, just collect and try and get a pass. It's going to be a ball up because there was no priority. Stefan Martin back at it. It looks a little bit more favourable to Sydney. Buddy looks like he's coming to midfield. Buddy, oh, what a missed time mark there for the Swans. Trying to get back here. A nice handball. Oh, my God. Punished. Punished by the Swans there. Dean Towers with the night receives a very nice handball. He knows he can hit from just outside the 40 there. Man, what a goal for the Swans. A nice handball. Hits it first time smashes it into the crowd with his right foot. He put his laces through it, and the Swans are trying to come back. Buddy trying to get to a Brisbane as well. Looks like there's a lot more Swans than there. Oh, fuck off. Buddy Franklin breaks away, finds uh, George Hewitt uncontested to bring it back to 18 points each. George puts it past the Brisbane Lions in the second quarter there scores his first goal of the match and gaining his first disposal as well not good it just shows you how good these teams are on the very hard difficulty especially ones sort of the, they're going to be pushing for top four top eight this season come on pick it up fucking Isaac Henny he'd be really good on the ring maybe to uh, replace Matthew or Mitch sorry Sydney, oh, piss off, collects it straight away, Kieran Jack puts the Swans in front, we had a pretty hairy match against Port Adelaide in the last match, we did manage to beat the Bulldogs, the former Premiers, but it looks like Sydney might do a number on us here today, come on Brisbane, we started off this match so well in the first, but we're sort of crumbling towards the second, it's just, man, who scores a goal like that, piss off, Sydney, that's ridiculous. Stefan Martin wins the ball up, but Sydney, uh, oh, what a tackle there on beams. Stefan Martin, he wins the ruck. Come on, Brisbane, try and get to it. Yeah, oh, fumbles the mark. Sydney pushing to the wings. Sam Reid collects. Uh, Dean Towers uncontested. Come on, pick your man. We need to mark your man. No, send us not to uh, Jeremy. The Swans trying to put increase the league. Oh, they're just playing bloody ticky tack of football here. They're trying to just put it around the park. No, we've put it in a favourable position. Whoa, okay. The, the Swans centre it to Hewitt. And to increase the lead to 30 points, Hewitt steps up and puts it past for the Swans in the second quarter. Scores his second goal of the match. Shit. We came out guns blazing in the first, and now they're hammering us in the second. Come on, Brisbane. We need at least one goal. What a bloody bump there. Stefan Martin holding the ball. My ass. In the third quarter now. Zorko manages to intercept to try and bring some sort of calm to the attack. Leicester from the forward pocket has pushed up to Bell's position. Leicester's going to try and get it to the top of the goal square. Hipwood. Hipwood. Oh, come on. Get to it, lads. Yes, Christensen on the soccer to bring us back in the third. Christensen, the former Geelong man, he's been playing really good on that right centre forward role. We've obviously got Hipwood up top who's really beat. Like I said before, if you can nullify Hipwood and Rich and sort of push the wings for us because we love to go down the middle, it sort of nullifies our attack. It makes us very, very vulnerable. But Bastanak Leicester have really stepped up in this match. I really need Hipwood as well. Martin in the fourth quarter now. The Swans managed to collect Buddy. Oh, Tom Cutler intercepts over Buddy Franklin. Come on, Brisbane. We just need to put a couple more goals past them. We're only eight points ahead. Hipwood. Hipwood. Six foot eight. Hard as fuck. He's no Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but can he put this one into the back of the net? He does. And he's... It's pretty close. We're currently drawing with the Swans. Now five disposals, four goals for Hipwood. He just needs to continue to put a, a couple more into the back. Of the, I, keep on, I keep on going to say back of the net, but there's no net in AFL. Martin from the ruck. 
We're currently drawing with the Swans. It's going to be holding the ball. Zorko finds Hipwood to put the Lions in front. Away down in Sydney. Hipwood to score his, what, fifth goal it would be. Hipwood steps up, and he does. The teenager, Eric Hipwood, the next Jonathan Brown. He's just so broken in his in this game because he's six foot eight. He's such a tall full forward. He's a youngster as well. He's come through the Brisbane Youth Academy system. And, yeah, he's going to be definitely one for the future. He's just rocketing up in stats as well. Harris Andrews in the ruck because Stefan's come off the bench. Close. Come on, we need to stop Sydney. No, they've sent it to Hewitt again. We're only just in front. Oh, Josh Kennedy. Brisbane. No, no, no. Josh Kennedy fires it past the Brisbane defence. Scores his first goal of the match. Three disposals. Joshua Kennedy looking good for the Swans. We're currently drawing with the Swans here. They've broken away here. Six minutes remaining. No! <laughs> Josh Kennedy to score his second of the match. And he does. Man, we don't deserve to lose this match. But will this be yet our first loss of the season? Will it be against the Sydney Swans down in Sydney? Oh, very, very disappointing. From the ball up, Andrews loses another ruck battle. Oh, Joshua Kennedy to go three for three in the fourth quarter. And that's it. He's done it. She's all over. Red Rover. Joshua Kennedy scores three goals back to back. Maybe I shouldn't have the automatic substitution on because we've lost those three battles because we've got Harris Andrews in the ruck. He does, he does win it here, but I think it might be a little bit too late for the Lions. We soccer it into the 50. And it looks like Sydney going to try and break away here now. Rich gets tackled. Only two minutes remaining. Yeah, and Sydney Mark here. Are they going to make it? If they score another goal here, this is going to be rubbing salt into the wound. 50 points to 38. And oh, Isaac Hetty manages to mark. There's no way he's going to score from this if he does. Oh, he nearly does, though. Isaac Henney goes for the behind. And that's it. We have lost our first match of the series here today against the Swans. Les looks like he's about to take a dump. But that's it. We've lost our undefeated run, what, six games, I think it was. But now we face the Hawks down in Tasmania. Hopefully we can have a better run of results. But hey, you win some, you lose some. This is AFL Live Evolution. Six goals to eight, three behinds to their, two behinds to their, three. 15 inside 50s to 12. Hipwood picks up the man of the match. He scores five goals but it wasn't to be. Joshua Kenny, man, he really should have got the man of the match coming late on there and scoring three goals back to back for the Swans. But hey, this is not the last match of today's episode. We're still facing the Hawks down in Tasmania. Man, that really just shows you how clinical the top teams are when you play on the very hard difficulty. Like we, some, Sometimes we didn't even get a touch out from Sydney, and then they scored those three goals back-to-back. -back. That's what you're going to expect, guys, from teams. They're going to be making top four, top eight this season because we, we've, we've, we've faced some pretty decent teams, but I don't know. We've just done really well against them, I guess. So we're going to be facing the Hawks down in Tasmania here today. Hopefully we can pick up a result. We've got some points. Christensen, after scoring in the last match, has some training we can put in on him. So after that bit of a hiccup, that blip on the radar, hopefully the Brisbane Lions can bounce back here today against the Hawks. So let's have a look at the table. So the Hawks are currently six wins and one draw as well. We're currently first, followed by Carlton Crows, GWS, West Coast, Sydney, and Essendon, Collingwood, Port Adelaide, Gold Coast, and North, uh, and sorry, not North Melbourne, just Melbourne, uh, the Demons in the sort of scrap towards the bottom of the table. I wish there was a relegation. How cool would that be if there was like a relegation system in uh, the AFL? So let's go through goals. Hipwood is our top goal scorer, followed by Rich, sorry, Leicester, Rich, Bastanak. I'm surprised Rich has scored more goals than Basti there. Huh. Even though Basti and um, 
Bastien Leicester occupy the forward pockets. Rich at centre forward there, of course. But like I said, we play a very direct style of play. No sort of flip-flap handballing and going to the wings. But we're going to be facing the Hawks here today. Let's see who they are fielding. So we're playing at the Utah Stadium. Okay. Uh, Bergwin. Right, Taylor. Okay. Jack Gunston. He could be someone we could try and pick up next season. Luke Hodge. As well, there's our team. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at the lineup. Hasn't changed since the first episode. We've obviously got Hipwood at full forward, Bastanak in the pocket along with Leicester. We've got Rich at half forward. We've got Christensen Bell as well. We've got Rockcliffe Beams, Zorko in the midfield. We've got Taylor on the wing along with Rich Robson. Then in our defence, we've got we've got the likes of Gardner, Anderson. Our defence is definitely the weakest point in the department. So. Ball up. The match is underway. Martin wins the ball. Hawks manage to collect. And Sam Myers. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't mind the Hawks. But I just... I don't think they're a Tasmanian team. As a Tasmanian myself, we kind of bought a license to them. If they renamed to something like... they, What are they... They've got a license, if you don't know, to play in Tasmania. What? Four games a season, I think it's guaranteed. They, do, they always seem to play really well down here. I've seen them beat Brisbane a couple of times, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, Leicester trying to recollect from the spoiled mark. Come on, Brisbane, get to it. Oh, my God, tries to whip it around the bend. I've accidentally played on here. This is really scrappy here. Rich manages to pick up the crumbs, though. He's just outside the 50. Once he kicks it, he's going to be in. Danny Rich... Steps up for the Lions, puts it past to make it the first goal of the match in the first quarter. Rich, cool, calm and collected, celebrates with his teammates. What a goal from the Brisbane Lions. And hopefully we just need to kick a lot more <laughs> than that match against Sydney because we can capitulate and crumble towards the end. Haywood. Oh. Hawks trying to get to... I think I kicked the wrong way then. Yeah, I did. Jared Roughhead steps up and brings it back to one goal apiece in the first quarter for the Hawks. Man. Stefan Martin. Oh, I don't know if he won that. It was a bit contested there. It's a high tackle, though. Zorko finds Martin. He was contested there. Stefan Martin to bomb it to the corner here. Lester gets to it. Hipwood's in the box. Try and get it to Hipwood, Lester. Hipwood's running out. Six foot eight. He ca oh, he grabs the mark. He nearly didn't get to it, though. Hipwood. Rich has already made, scored the first. Hipwood scores the second there for the Lions. We just need to put a couple more past. Be a bit of, a little bit more cooler, calmer, and collected. And we should be able to beat the Hawks here today. But you never know. We could get two defeats back to back. The Hawks are a very, very formidable opponent. Martin wins the mark, wins the ruck. Oh, Rockcliffe with the agility breaks away, but I don't think Hipwood's going to get to it. Hipwood does, though. The Hawthorne man completely misses time, mistimes the tackle. And I've seen Jonathan Brown score a lot of goals down here as well. I can definitely see Hipwood doing the same. Second disposal of the match, second goal, celebrating with um, Christensen there. Hawks on the attack. Gardner in our defense intercepts. Tries to put it into the midfield, finds Rockcliffe. Like I said, we want to use the mid-channels as best we can. Rich at half-forward, that's what we want. Now just that one extra step to try and find Hipwood. Rich can't quite make the distance, but Hipwood gets to the mark. The thing is, right, if I was the opposition, I'd just try and find the tallest player in the squad I could to put on... Hipwood, because he's like a head and a half taller than that Hawthorne playing mark, and him scores his first goal of the match. Like, you chuck like Aaron Sanderlands <laughs> if you're a free man, or just the tallest player in the squad doesn't necessarily have the best defensive capabilities, but the tallest. Oh, Tom Bell manages to contest the mark. Oh, he's broken away here, Tom Bell. Hits it to the top of the square to Hipwood. Like, he's not even playing in front of him as well. Hipwood to put past 30 points... Hawks are only on six in the second quarter and looks like we're going to have a comfortable victory here today. But to be fair, Hipwood did score five in the last match and lose. Hawks breaking away. A nice oh, jostle for position. 33-6 to six at half time. 
But it really just show you if you can have like a like a top full forward like Lance Franklin, he's just he just scores with ease. Hipwood gets to it. The Hawks completely mistimed the mark. Hipwood again scores another for the Brisbane Lions. Her Eric Hipwood, the next Jonathan Brown, the teenager, scores his fifth of the match. Man, he is such a prolific full forward up front. Rich, oh, gets to it. A high tackle there. Beams manages to take the kick. Rich scored the first goal of the match. Can he score another in the third? Rich steps up. Hits to the top of the square. Can't quite make the distance. But Hipwood, jostling for position, manages to out-contest the Hawthorne player and scores another goal for the Brisbane Lions. Hipwood, six foot eight, hard as fuck, manages to score six for the Lions. Sean Bergwin. Oh, that's a poor, poor mark. No priority. Zorko hunting him down. Hipwood's gone into the ruck now because Martin's come off. A lot better having Hipwood there instead of... Oh, God damn it! Instead of having um, Andrews, who was playing really poor in the last match. Paul, for the Hawks, makes it two goals for them now. 12 points to 47. A bit too late. Scores their second goal of the match. That hiccup in that... That hiccup in the first quarter to let Roughhead score. But that's it. The, the full-time whistle has blown. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. We've beaten the Hawks down in Tasmania here today. I'm absolutely wrapped with it. I guess I had sort of the home advantage, <laughs> I guess. And we also managed to, unfortunately, lose against the Swans. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Hopefully, we don't face them in the finals. Because, <laughs> yeah, we, you obviously don't want to face teams you've already lost against in the league. So, hopefully, we can continue on with our relatively strong campaign. We're still leading now because the Hawks were drawing with us on the ladder 6-1 to one as well. Now, we're... 7 to 1 there, 6 to 2. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Please leave a like if you are enjoying this series and want to see more AFL Evolution on the channel. Let me know in the comments what players you would like me to sign for the next season so I can compile a list, sort of get a general consensus of players uh, you guys would like to see. We can't sign everyone, of course, but there's no harm getting a list to sort of get a general consensus. Also, check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe Football Manager, maybe AFL Live Evolution, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Patreon and Steam group in the description below there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.